Not exactly how I want to start my uh, day today, or my week for that matter. Not cool, not cool at all. Awesomeness. Overheating. Uh, what the heck's going on around here? Where did the Freightliner go? Where am I? What's going on? <laughs> These questions and more will be answered in this vlog. Just another rainy day in upstate New York. Out here in Ontario, New York. My usual spot to uh, start my work week lately. Darkness imprisoning me. Let's see, let's help. Hey, <laughs> all right. There we go. Good to go now. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. And hopefully the phone doesn't ring. Uh, it's Monday. I'm out here in Ontario, New York, and once again I'm back in a Mac. Uh, excuse me, that was a good one. To make a long story short, the Freightliner that I've been driving the past couple weeks, uh, I had to take to the shop on Friday. There was an issue with the DPF or EGR or Regen, ABC, XYZ, DEF, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P. All that emissions crap that they put on the trucks nowadays. There's an issue in there. They don't know if it's a sensor, a wire, a plugged filter, or the fact that the truck's a 2009 Freightliner and it's just getting old and tired. I don't know. <laughs> There's an issue there. But the truck's over uh, at Penn Detroit right now getting looked at so I'm in this beautiful piece of machinery until further notice I don't know I've been asking about that uh, 2006 Freightliner that I used to drive I called the old whore and I was told I was gonna get it back and then I got the newer Freightliner and I think they're trying to you know push me onto that one which is not bad I mean, it's not a bad truck but that 06 Freightliner I was driving doesn't have all that emission crap on it you know it's just I'd rather have that I'd rather just because the truck is newer doesn't mean it's better. There, I said it. I'm having a hard time talking today, don't mind me. Normal, usual train wreck self, but uh. Yeah, right now I'm out here in Ontario getting unloaded. Not sure what I'm doing next. You know, I got the dash cam rolling again. I'm gonna try to pick up on that a little bit every now and then. And then uh, see how that goes. Boy, today's turning out to be one technical difficulty after another, you know it? <laughs> oh boy. I'm out here in uh, Fairport, New York, picking up a load. I forget where it's going, but I'm picking it back to the yard in uh, Syracuse here. Gonna open my doors and go back in and uh, sit and wait. Because that's what we do. Sit and wait. Wait and sit. Yeah, they did a pretty good job sweeping. I don't think I need to sweep it. Oh, don't. I hate when this happens. Get the old yellow pole here. I guess I can open them up once I get down by the dock. Just trying to save myself some time. All loaded up here out in Fairport. I think that's the quickest I've ever been in and out of here. Usually I wait to get in and say it was no lines, no waiting. Backed in, got loaded. It's here a whole 45 minutes. Rolling back to Syracuse. Looks like we're gonna get a pretty good storm rolling through here. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, I-90 eastbound up here in upstate New York. Hold off here at the Port Byron rest area. Take my 30-minute DOT waste of time safety break. 
Just went into McDesk, grabbed myself a couple gut burgers and french fries to hold me over to dinner. And uh, this load I picked up in Fairport is a load going out to Napoleon, Ohio. Now, whenever we pick up a load around Rochester that's going out west, we would take the load out to our drop yard in Buffalo. But, there's a but. There's another driver who drives this truck regularly, and I believe she's working today. So I've got to get the truck back to the yard in Syracuse to, well, basically evict myself out of it so that she can hop in and go to work. So I guess that leaves me truckless for the time being because I don't know what's going on with the freight line I've been driving. And the only, the only oh, here we go. Tongue tied and twisted Monday. <laughs> the only other truck that's in the yard that I could drive, uh, the keys are missing to it. So it uh, uh, looks like we're going to get some rain. I'm going to wrap this up and get rolling back to Syracuse. And uh, hopefully my day will end kind of soon. So I'm going to get my pick -em up truck fixed. Because that's a whole nother... Uh, issue in itself that I need to get taken care of as soon as possible. Oh, it's raining, it's pouring, that old man, he's snoring, he bumped his head and he went to bed and he didn't wake up till morning, yeah. Wow, it's getting a little humid out here. Uh, I'm out here in Baldwinsville, New York. Surprise, surprise. Just did some dropping and hooking, hooking and dropping. And my gross weights for this load, not that anybody really cares anyway, are gross weight 78,540 pounds. On my steers, I have 11,240 pounds. On my drives, I've got 33,380 pounds. And on my tandems, I've got 33,920 pounds. It's all legal. I don't care. And just like that, I'm all done for today. Thank God. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I'm going to uh, clean this truck out for the other driver because there's another driver using the truck, I guess, in the evening. And I'm gonna go home and see if I can uh, get my truck fixed. Uh, another driver here who's more mechanically inclined than I am thinks it might just be the clamp that goes around the hose that goes into where the thermostat goes. So hopefully I'll be able to change that out when I get home. If not, I'll have a day off tomorrow probably. <laughs> probably screw it up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today's done and over with and uh, ended with a little frustration <laughs> we have a new dispatcher and uh, he told me to you know hold for a minute so he could find out what I was doing and I ended up in a three-way conversation with another driver who was in another state who just called dispatch wanting to know who I was so I basically told him just to take his empty trailer to Syracuse bobtail down the HQ and get himself a beer and <laughs> he's like what <laughs> oh boy I get in trouble for that one don't care so uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. I'm out of here. Hasta la pasta. Adios.